Ladies and gentlemen, a message from His Excellency President Chan Santoki of the Republic of Suriname. Esteemed Chair and Board of Directors of Concordia participants, may I extend my respectful greetings to you all. I thank you for the invitation to speak at this Concordia Annual Summit. Despite my intention to attend, I cannot travel and participate in person, but I hope this message indicates my support for your organization. I have been asked to speak on the importance of regional cooperation, promoting energy security, and access to finance. Let me frame these issues in a slightly different context. Before the COVID-19 pandemic and the war in Ukraine, the world had become one big open space in which consumers were looking for the cheapest products regardless of origin and distance. This situation has changed drastically and we can identify at least three causes. First, the COVID-19 pandemic suddenly closed off most of the world and shifted policies and consumerism towards national boundaries. Most economies suffered, while each nation had to find ways to cope with the pandemic and its aftermath. Second, the war in Ukraine has upset food supplies and prices and caused supply chain problems by increasing shipping costs. Goods which were bought could not reach their points of destination in time or not at all. This created new discussions where price was not the bottom line anymore. Food security became a problem, but also energy security. Discussions about supply chains and national and regional security became important because there were no supply guarantees anymore. And I think we should add a third element, climate change, because in the past years, this has become also a dominant international issue. With the COVID-19 pandemic, the world suddenly experienced that it is possible to lower the output of the greenhouse gases. The many natural disasters on the line that the climate is becoming a significant factor in the life of many nations and that we should take it more seriously. In fact, there is a worldwide consensus that we should reduce greenhouse gases, which clearly has a repercussion for long transport routes, energy shipments and use. Energy and food security have become strategic global targets. Supply chains have to be brought nearer to the consumers. So shipments and distance war cannot disrupt them so easily. And at the same time, the climate cost of transport and energy should be factored in. Thus, prices of goods should be looked at a new way, both from a security and from a climate perspective. Therefore, solutions should be found nearer to our homes. Regional cooperation is becoming much more important. We should find solutions for energy in our region. This means solutions in terms of production, but also in terms of limiting greenhouse gases. This can be done for oil and gas through energy efficiency, renewable energy, and shorter transport roads. In this regard, we should work towards improving projects and programs for energy efficiency and the renewable energy. We also must develop our regional oil and gas capacity to its full potential 
with innovative technologies. The same framework can be used by international financing agencies and commercial banks to direct investments towards more regional security and limiting negative effects of climate change. My country, Suriname, is one of the only three carbon negative countries in the world with its high forest cover and low deforestation rate, and we would like to keep it that way. And although we have fast reserves of oil and gas offshore, we are careful not to disturb our natural ecological balance. Suriname is already working closely within CARICOM on the matter of energy security and access to financing. Since the summit of the Americas last June, cooperation with the United States of America was given a further impetus. At the same time, CARICOM is in discussion with the Caribbean Development Bank and the Inter-American Development Bank, and I expect that all these efforts will increase access to finance. Esteemed Chair and Board of Directors of Concordia, participants, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you all insightful discussions and hope they will result in clear solutions. I thank you all and may God bless you all.